we buy from the fishermen from Slide, Catabo, Lacovia, Black River, and Rainforest. And the Rainforest. Because we do the shrimp vending, so we only buy the shrimp. Okay, how has that been working out for you? Well, it's very, it's very good, you know. It's very good before COVID. Before COVID. But before since COVID. COVID come in, but since COVID, it kind of. Down, up and down. Can you tell me what happens when you are not able to get your regular supply of shrimp from fishermen? What's in, up? From the back river? Rainforest. You have to buy the rainforest one. How does that work out for you financially? Very expensive. It's very expensive. And most time we can't. Most time we can't. We can't even buy it to sell back because most time people don't really like it. People don't really like the, the rainforest because they're used to the one we get from the river. So don't really like the rainforest. We're not catch a fish for never again. Like, we don't know if a tree tide come up and it's gone now, Maris. We don't know, but we're not going catch no fish like one time. You know, we catch a fish and we sell it as people can get something to eat and so. And if they don't have water, then come down here and catch water, see me. In large wetland areas like this, crocodiles keep the fish population healthy because crocodiles will weed out they tend to eat those animals those fish that are not so healthy might be injured harmed or whatever what we don't realize here in jamaica in the last 100 years the number of people that have been killed by crocodiles here in Jamaica is possibly far less than the number of people that are killed in any week in Jamaica now. They shoot a guana and they shoot the fish in attack and they just take it go and they spear go and avoid it. So you poke him with it? You stab him with it? No. Spear it, yes. spear it for the early man. Avoid him, it's not him now. Oh, but you keep coming back? Yeah, I swim away from him. So you're not afraid of them? No. Reason for some of the fires up here. Basically, it's natural. The soil in this wetland is peat. And peat gives off methane gas. A lightning bolt can ignite this wetland and often does. I will remember once when we just started doing the tour back in the 80s and coming up the river and a sudden bolt of lightning hit over in the wetland and it was like a bomb exploded over there. Maybe just about two or three hundred yards from us. That is why whenever there is any lightning threat or we see lightning up in the hills or anywhere, we do not do tours. And somebody just being careless with a cigarette can also toss it over there and it will ignite. This is the problem that you have here. Is it your friend or your enemy? I'm afraid, you know. <laughs> Could never be an enemy, not even with a crocodile. No, sir. The width of the river and the depth of the water here now is possibly up to 18, 20 feet deep. And that is what makes this river so important and has been always very important to the economy of this region.